Wow, that was a lot faster with the help of a friend. But in all seriousness, the real work is just beginning. In this video, we permanently bond the stringers to frame two, dry fit the stem, and notch and dry fit the stringer into frame three. We start this video with the placement of the port side stringer. After epoxy coating, some of my bulkhead notches were now too small. Using overhead straps to support the stringers proved to be a very good idea. Getting the ladder stuck on the stringer was not such a great idea. Similar to the process I used on frame one in the last video, I permanently bonded the bulkhead to frame two. I marked the stringer notches to avoid putting epoxy on the frame in these locations. The port and starboard stringers will go through the frame 2 bulkhead and butt up to frame 2. Perhaps not necessary, but I roughed up the epoxy on both the frame and the bulkhead. And I forgot to turn on the camera when I bonded the frame to the bulkhead using epoxy thickened with colloidal silica and silicon bronze screws. Here I'm simply reattaching the bulkhead to the strong back legs through the exact same holes as prior. To ensure there were no gaps between the frame and the bulkhead, I added clamps around the perimeter. And then I filleted the thickened epoxy with my finger. Back to the stringers. On the jig, you'll see there are two lines at frame two. The stringers need to be cut at the aft line so the stringer butts up to frame two. I cut my stringers at the forward line and therefore need to recut to the aft line. And for this, I use the track saw. and completed the cut by hand and repeated the process on the starboard side stringer. I coated the cut edge with unthickened epoxy and then started working the stringers down into the notches of the bulkheads. I checked to ensure frame two was vertical. And bonded the starboard stringer to frame two. For this, I use the 206 hardener and high density filler. This is a good time to point out that I incorrectly positioned frame nine and I broke the frame eight bulkhead off when installing the stringer. Notice the stringer is not fully seated into frame nine. All of this will be fixed at a later stage.
Dry fitting the stem at this point also provides great stability to frames one through three. Next, I worked on bonding the port side stringer into frame two. I added a second coat of unthickened epoxy to the fresh cut end. And then I added thickened epoxy before seating the stringer into frame two. Perhaps worth mentioning, I'm using the high density filler and the 206 slow hardener. I worked the stringer into place with a heavy mallet and add thickened epoxy to completely fill the gap. After the stringer is fully seated, I fill it the excess epoxy away with a plastic knife and my finger. Now that I have the stringers bonded into frame two, you can clearly see that these two stringers are not at the exact same height. And if you remember, they had some flex back and they didn't take the perfect same shape in the, the stringer videos. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly notch the stringers from the front to the back so they can bend down because the full thickness stringers are not gonna bend. But once I notch them, there'll be a little bit more flex at every frame. So that's what we're gonna do next. So looking here at Frame two. Let's take take the clamps off and hold it together. So you can see that frame two is going to come. The bulkhead will butt up right to where we have frame two, which is right here. This will fit down in there. So we need to notch the stringer to fit frame two. And as you saw before, I had marked the lines, or Caleb had marked the lines of where this would meet up. But if you come in here, we're about, we're about three eighths of an inch too high. It's not quite seated here, as it is all the way through the rest of these frames. So what I'm gonna do is take the opportunity to redraw the line on the bulkhead three eighths inch up. and I scribble mark the part that will be notched out, repeating the process on the other side. Because this is my first attempt at notching a stringer, I use guide boards so I don't overcut. The reason I put this in here is this thing comes at an angle, yep. so you'll know not to go too far down. You'll see the line where you're not supposed to cut below.
<clears throat> so it's a little tight, but that is ultimately gonna go in there. Got it, makes sense. That's what I'm trying to do. I repeat the process on the starboard side stringer. Then I check to see if the frame will fit into the notches. And this time, it will fit. I hammer the bulkhead back into alignment with the frame. While the top of the frame is not yet level with the bulkhead, I will wait to complete the final adjustments after all the frames have been notched into the stringer. In the next video, I'll continue with the dry fit of frames 4 through 8 into the stringers. Till then, cheers. <laughs>